Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Manchester United save and today usually uh, we've got a roundup for you, we've got a little bit of tactical stuff as well, uh, having a little bit of a tinker around with the tactics and hopefully it comes out with us and we've got two games today. City at home in the Premier League and Valencia in that second leg in the Champions League. We played three games since we last met. Uh, we beat Palace 2-1 in the FA Cup fifth round. A uh, slightly rotated side um, and uh, Palace uh, put a good, really good fight up. Uh, but Marcus Rashford with a brace and uh, Andros Townsend with the with a goal in between that. Um, Puts 2-1 up in the uh, into the next round of the FA Cup. And we'll have Spurs in the sixth round. We then uh, played the Carabao Cup final and we beat Leicester 1-0 uh, at Wembley. So it's another Carabao Cup, another piece of silverware, which is good. Luke Shaw coming in uh, five minutes or four minutes into the second half and uh, producing the winning goal there. We then face a really tough test down at Stamford Bridge. And uh, yeah, nil-nil away from home at Stamford Bridge. Not too bad, but the creative creativity in the team wasn't the best a bit like uh, Everton away as well so I've gone away I've had a look at the an analysis and we're going to talk you through what we've what changes we've made in the tactic going into the City and the Valencia game so if, if we have a look here um, we've changed a couple of the roles in the middle of midfield hopefully to give Peter players a bit more space to to work in um, and also just allows us a little bit more freedom in the attacking third so we've changed the two central midfielders uh, Pogba used to be a Mazzala and he's now the advanced playmaker and Pellegrini used to be the deep line playmaker but now he's the box to box we've also changed the player in behind Lukaku as well he used to be the advanced playmaker uh, but we've actually changed him to the uh, attacking midfielder. Now, if we have a look at the analysis, so we have a look at the analysis of the Chelsea game, as you can see here. Um, we have a look at the average positions with the ball. Um, if you can have a look, so you've got Pellegrini here in that deep line playmaker role, which is what we like. Um, him just being a little bit deeper, picking up the ball and being that axis, a bit like what Matic was as well, which is great. But if you look further forward, uh, when we've got the ball, um, Lukaku is out on his own. But then the attacking midfielders and Pogba are getting in each other's way. So uh, whether we play Aura there or whether we play Juan Mata there, they're literally alongside Paul Pogba in that uh, advanced playmaker role. Um, or in that um, yeah, advanced playmaker role for the guys behind Lukaku and there's the Mazzala role uh, with Pogba. If we have a look without the ball as well, again, seem to be getting in each other's way and actually our is a little bit deeper compared to Pogba uh, whereas Mata is right on top of uh, of Lukaku so again trying to utilize the space a little bit differently when we go back over to the tactics so so the advanced play playmaker on I've got him on the support role uh, on the support role the advanced playmaker uh, can operate in the central midfield attacking midfield or wide forward uh, positions uh, he aims to drop in between the holes in between the midfield and defence making himself available so a bit like the deep line playmaker but a little bit further forward and in that support duty he's going to stay in that hole and look to spray passes to supporting players and forward so if we have that a little bit further back and then we've changed the, um, the player in behind Lukaku the uh, attacking uh, midfielder and what that does is basically on that attack duty, which is what he is, he's looking to craft out chances for forwards alongside uh, being a presence in the box to supplement the attack. So we're getting more people in the box and we're having Pellegrini uh, as that box-to-box -box midfielder instead of the Mazzala role in there. That box-to-box -box midfielder, basically, he's going to push uh, to support the forwards, but then in defence he's going to run, he's going to rush back and try and protect those defensive lines as well, which is what we're looking at. And that hopefully should give us a little bit more space in that uh, middle of midfield and allow people like the Kaku, Lingard, Pogba uh, time to, uh, to play uh, a little bit more expansive football. This is what I was talking about in my tactic video. If you haven't seen that tactic video, we're going to stick a little uh, icon, little eye icon in the top right hand corner. We're going to put a link there for you. So if you haven't seen that, I go through some of this stuff in that as well. So hit the little eye icon if you wanted to catch up with the uh, with the tactic or check out the uh, the the channel channel page as well. It's on there. We're going to get into this city game straight away now though. This is the lineup. You've seen it already. A few changes just to give uh, just to give a little bit of freshness. In there, we're going to uh, bring Martial off. We're going to bring Mata down, and we're going to bring uh, Lingard in the middle there, in behind Lukaku. Sanchez on the left, Chiesa on the right, Pellegrini and Pogba in the middle. Grimaldo, Varane, Diaz, and Dallo are the back line with David De Gea uh, in goal. 
Short, Lindelhoff, Aura, Mata, Rashford, Catrone and Martial. So we've got a lot of attacking talent on that bench if we need it. And hopefully these little subtle changes go our way and uh, we can uh, come up against uh, City. Uh, they're in really good form at the minute. They are now top of the table. We do have still those three games in hand, but they are three points ahead of us. So we definitely need to, uh, to win those as well. And this is the first game of the weekend. Let's get into it. So City line up with a 4-2-3-1, two, uh, two uh, defensive-minded midfielders rather than uh, rather than Pellegrini and Pogba, slightly further forward. Uh, Edison in goal, Walker, Stones, Laporte and Goulam at the back line. Uh, Milliken, Savic and Fernandinho in the uh, defensive line um, players. Sané on the left, Bernard, Bernardo Silva on the right. David Silva in the middle and Maro Cardi up top. They've got Sterling on the bench. They've got Aguero, Zaha and Gabriel Jesus. So they've got as much attacking talent as we have. Uh, we can do this for the fans and we're going to passionately say, let's win this one and take us to the top of the table. Guys are looking confident and gaining confidence, which is great. And uh, let's go and start this derby day. Ran with the uh, free kick, but he gives the ball away to Sani. He was trying to find uh, Chiesa down that right hand side, and they're gonna hit us on the counter attack. Savage into Silva, but Lingard is there. Really good tackle from Jesse Dallo down this right hand side to Chiesa, and he's just gonna run forward and he's gonna take uh, Savage on into Jesse Lingard. Can he get the ball through? Goes to Pogba into Alexis, and he shoots just wide. Jesse Lingard making a nuisance of himself in that uh, uh, attacking midfielder role, which is what we wanted. Wanted a little bit more creativity from our players. And uh, this time it's uh, Grimaldo on that left-hand side trying to find Alexis. Pellegrini picking up the ball. Paul Pogba into Lukaku and now he shoots wide. Two really good opportunities there for Lingard and Lukaku. Edison starts the game. It's just before the 20-minute mark in this first half. And he plays it out to Laporte. Then finds Sané down the right-hand side. Goes back to Goulam into uh, Sané again. And Pogba and Dallo doing really well in pressing him going backwards. And they find Bernardo Silva who tries to find the ball over the top to Icardi. But we cut that ball out. Sanchez now goes into Lukaku. Lukaku through to Jesse Lingard. Through to Chiesa. Chiesa's there but it falls to Alexis. And that's 1-0 to United. Great save by Edison on uh, Jesse Lingard. Guard or Chiesa uh, shot, sorry, and uh, it fell kindly to Alexis Sanchez. But this is what I wanted a little bit more moving, getting Lukaku involved, Lingard running off him, finds Chiesa, and then he fires that ball. Lovely save by Edison, but falls to Alexis. Seventh goal of the season, 1 0 to United. Corner, Bernardo Silva whipping that ball in, but Ruben Diaz gets the ball out, but only as far as Fernandinho goes to Bernardo Silva, comes inside, and David De Gea pushes it onto the post, and we get that ball clear. And that sees us through to half-time. 1-0 lead for us. Alexis Sanchez scoring a goal, but he's had to go off with a, a tight groin. And we've brought uh, Marcus Rashford on on that uh, left-hand side as, he had, uh, as the attacking midfielder left. Going to calmly say you're playing well, but there's still room for improvement out there. Passionately say there's a lot more to come from them. And now let's get out there for this second half and hopefully bring back three more points in the Manchester derby. Edison from a free kick around about 10 minutes into the second half and he goes to Stones but Rashford with the press into Lukaku Chiesa's there going in on goal and Chiesa scores his third goal of the season Romelu is involved in this game now uh, you say he was on the periphery for the last few games slight tweaks in the uh, in the uh, tactic has paid dividends for us Rashford getting that ball over to Lukaku into Chiesa runs it in 2-0 to United here now just after the hour mark switches that ball over to Grimaldo and he finds Rashford who does a very similar job to uh, Sanchez Pogba lovely ball over to Chiesa can he get the ball in no Goulam uh, stops him pretty comfortably there on that left hand side and now Sané one on one with Dallo but he gets the tackle in but Sané brushes him off and he goes down that left hand side Sané's running through the uh, through the United defence gets the ball in and uh, Icardi with a very sloppy shot. Sterling down that right side has come off the bench uh, as has uh, Sergio Aguero as well has gone in, in behind uh, Maricardi Grimaldo li lifting the ball forward to uh, to uh, Lukaku Rashford now into Juan Mata into Romelu can he shoot? Yes he can Romelu Lukaku 20th goal of the season that seals it for United 3-0 winners and uh, Romelu Lukaku with Juan Mata in behind him uh, lovely uh, headed down to Juan Mata started the move off Rashford putting inside finds Mata again he then plays a lovely through ball and Romelu on his wrong foot uh, sweeps that ball home and it's the 20th goal of the big man uh, season 3-0 to United. 
Bernardo Silva is going to whip this ball in final action of the uh, of the game, and that is it. 3-0 to United in the Manchester derby. We go top of the league on goal difference. And those tactical changes, as I said, freed a lot of players up. Lukaku, definitely best performance in a few weeks. 9.0, a goal and an assist to his name. Frederico Chiesa coming in on that right-hand side as well. An 8.3 for him and a goal and an assist as well. All in all, looking very, very strong with those tactical changes. Hopefully we can keep it up going into this really important second leg against Valencia. Right then, before we get into this game against uh, Valencia in the second leg, the team's going to stay exactly the same. Play really well against City. Let's going to have a look at the tactics and just see exactly what those little changes made or what they did in the match that we just played against City. We were looking at the average positions with the ball and without the ball uh, against Chelsea last time. And what we found was Pellegrini was all the way back here, um, kind of play, keeping the ball, but they're not really, kind of, not really threatening with the ball at all. And Pogba was right here bunched up against whoever was playing that attacking midfielder role um, and there was no one up at no one really um, letting allowing Lukaku any kind of space now as you can see this is average possession average position with the ball against City and you can see the amount of space we've got now um, that allows those players to move to see players to see a pass um, and but also be close enough to to be able to link up as well absolutely just what I wanted in this tactic, as I said. Uh, Lukaku's got time and space around him, but he's got um, either Alra or or, Lukar, or uh, Lingard in just behind him. They've got Pellegrini shuttling up and down in that box-to-box -box, uh, role. And, uh, and Pogba, with his passing range and his passing ability, picking up the ball and then making those advanced playmaker passes, which is what we want. Without the ball, as you can see here, really compact, really tight, which is, what again, what you want. Pogba and Pellegrini just sitting there, when we haven't got the ball, uh, Lingard just behind uh, Lukaku. But again, the space is completely different compared to what we had against Chelsea. So that's exactly what I wanted in this setup. And again, we're going to go again against Valencia. We're 2 1 up, so we've got two away goals for us, um, which is really good going into this game. And uh, I'll see you when the first highlight hits. Grimaldo with a free kick, whipping that ball in Pogba's there, and it's going to be a penalty. Um, he was shoved by Guides, I think it was, and he's going to step up and hopefully put us 1-0 up in, uh, in the game. 12 minutes gone. Pogba, can he put us up? Yes, he can. 1-0 on the night. 3-1 on aggregate. 11th goal of the season for Paul Pogba, and uh, well in control of this one already. But it comes to an end. Paul Pogba is injured. What's he got uh, wrong with him? A potential thigh injury, so it could keep him out for a little time. We know how our can play in that advanced playmaker role. So we're just going to make that switch straight away. Great player to have, Hossi Mara. If you haven't picked him up in your game, go and pick him up. Play deep as in the, in the central midfield role, but he can also play in behind a striker really, really well. So we're going to make that change. Uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, affect us too much. Grimado again with a free kick. Very dangerous from these set pieces. And Ruben Diaz is there. Uh, second assist kind of from uh, Alex Grimaldo. Second goal of the season for Ruben Diaz. He's coming in really short about defence uh, with uh, Varane with Bailly uh, going to Chelsea. And it's a simple header. 2-0 on the night. 4-1 on aggregate. Uh, I think we're pretty much through the quarterfinals. Pellegrini with the corner just before half time into Dallo, but it's going to fall back to Romelu. Goes to Pellegrini, can get ball in just before uh, half time. Aura now into uh, Pellegrini, who's taking the ball back. He's got Gramado on that left hand side, switches it across. Gramado in, Lukaku's there, and he heads it over onto the bar. And uh, could have been a great chance to go 3 0 up, but that's the half time whistle. Again, Pogba and Ruben Diaz has come from two set pieces, but we're uh, dominant on uh, on the ball. 67% possession, 14 shots, 7 on target to their 5 and 1. Pogba going off injured hasn't hurt us too much, to be fair. Uh, gonna calmly say, very pleased with the performance. Keep it going, lads. Uh, Lingard not having um, the most influence in the game, nor is Romelu, but we'll have to keep an eye on that for the second half. And if it doesn't work out, switch it up when we need to. Uh, 15 minutes to go. Baba in to Guides. Uh, he's turned his man. He's gone for a shot and uh, De Gea right behind that one. A little bit easy for my liking from uh, Dallo on that right hand side to let him in as uh, quickly as he did. And that is it. The referee's blown for full time. Uh, really dominant display. Second half was just a professional display from us. Uh, playing really well against Valencia. Played uh, really well against Man City. With those slight tactical tweaks, definitely seems to have got us 
in the right frame of mind, a little bit more creativity going forward, and still as solid as we have been in the uh, in the defence. Going to see how long Pogba is out for. He's torn his hamstring. He's out for out for two months, anywhere between eight weeks and eleven weeks. So uh, March, April might come back for the end uh, for the end of the season, but it could be his uh, his season over, um, and we've got a very very busy time of it uh, coming forward. That's it for this episode. We will be back around the Arsenal time, I think. Um, but the first first leg's going to be around there. We'll see when we can come back. We're going to be back in and around uh, in and around April. See where the quarter, quarter final of the Champions League falls. See what we get in that. But yeah, we'll be we'll be back sometime in April. That's it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any more content. Remember, tick that little bell icon so you're notified when a video goes live. And until next time, when we come back somewhere in April with two games for you, I'll see you soon.